Hey y'all, metalheads. So I'm not really gonna listen to metal today, I'm gonna listen to rock, but saying rockhead just sounds off. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to Rock Review. Don't worry, I'll, I'll think of a better name if I continue this series, which I doubt it, I'm quite lazy. The show that no one asked for. And a dream of mine for forever, basically, has been, well, other than saving all the animals in this world, I've already started, just saying, I have a lot of cats. I also have always wanted to be in radio, but my hometown radio station has gone to they only play indie music. They play Imagine Dragons, okay? The radio station itself, the people there, they're amazing. I've been listening to them since like middle school, okay? I've won many contests with them. I even have their t-shirts. The music they play is not great anymore. They even, today, they, they were playing Billie Eilish. I'm like, this is not a third. Sirius XM, Octane Sirius, they do play rock. Every now and then, a rap song slips in or an indie song slips in, but they play mostly rock and that's where I go to get new rock music. I don't actually have it to say, but they do the Big Guns Countdown, which is the top 15. Well, that's weird. I, I was gonna say top 10 of the week. So what I'm gonna do is go through this list and give you my honest opinion, review of these songs. Opinions that no one asked for, but here I am giving it to you because I really want to. And oh look, you know how I was saying my local radio station? Alive by P.O.D. 10 out of 10. Over my head, Judah and the Lion. That's not rock or alternative. Okay, we got Green Day. Okay, we have Linkin Park. K Flay, Bad Vibe, Indie. See, they play Billie Eilish at like 9.30. Uh, uh, I wanna be real salty in this video, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Another problem is, for instance, look, they play, no! That's a new Nickelback, y'all. Okay, there we go. There's exactly my point. Never again by Breaking Benjamin. They will milk this song like no other, okay? And that's what they do. For instance, they'll play Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit, all day, every day. For instance, Breaking Benjamin, what happened to the new album? Ember, Red Cold River, Tourniquet, Tourniquet, I'm there, it's a tourniquet out loud. There's a new album, why don't we play it? Every day I'm in the car, I turn on the radio, they're playing Breaking Benjamin, I love it, but it's always never again or failure. That's it. My point being, they never play bands, new songs, new material. They'll play the same one over and over every day. You see that? 19 airplane pilots. That's not, oh, they played Iris by Google Dolls. Oh, they played my chili peppers. That was not the point of this video. Another thing, another number three, light the torch, safety of disbelief. I love this song. I've been listening to it for three weeks now. This song is so good. And I found it on the Big Guns Countdown, number one for some weeks. Okay, you got it? All right, we're gonna move ahead. Sorry to slow you down. <laughs> also, another thing that I'm running into right now as a problem is I like to listen with my JVC gummy headphones. Honestly, these things are so cheap and I feel like they are the best sounding. I keep repurchasing them and I don't care what color I get as long as I get the cheapest one. There's my issue though. I wanna wear these when I hear these songs, but then you can't hear them. From Ashes to New, my name. I've heard of From Ashes to New, I've never really listened to them, but I've heard of them because they've toured with 10 years. What? This is already sounding like P.O.D. mixed with Linkin Park, and it's a little too rappy for me. I've never heard this song before, but I listened to so much rock music that I already knew when he said, head in the clouds, I knew he was gonna say, feet on the ground. I knew it. Okay, you know what? I'm not hearing it too great because I'm not using, you know, headphones. I like it. I like the chorus, not the intro, the chorus. That was very nice. Head in the clouds, love it. I love clouds. Out of five, this is going to be a three. Bring Me the Horizon, Wonderful Life. I have listened to Bring Me the Horizon, just one song. It has that catchy little <laughs> Sounded exactly the same, didn't it? Wonderful Life. 
I got a Roblox ad. I'm not feeling it, y'all. Hold on. No, I'm not feeling it. So I want to give it a 2 out of 5. Because it wasn't that bad. Boston Manor. Hello. Halo. Why did I say hello? I've never heard of that Boston Manor. I like the album art already. It's a very The Killers vibe, but I don't really like it. <laughs> I'll give it a two. Again, not the worst. You know, like not something that I'm like, what is this? Palisades, erase the pain. Again, another band I've never heard of. Palisades, erase the pain. You'd think I'd be used to like really loud music by now, but I'm getting old. <gasps> this sounds like another song. Hold on. One of my biggest pet peeves, and it happens to me all the time, is when I hear a song and I can't freaking tell what other song it sounds like but for instance here let me give you a prime example if someone can help me i'd highly appreciate it motionless and white all right a lot of people dislike this band i really like reincarnate that only one song and now i freaking watch their guitarist play fortnite almost every single day so on twitch i'm okay with motionless and white but anyways their song voices <laughs> That part where he said, I don't know myself anymore. It sounds so dang familiar. I think it sounds like 30 Seconds to Mars back in the day. So when I liked 30 Seconds to Mars, you know, during the self-titled days, it sounds like 30 Seconds to Mars. It sounds like, okay. So anyways, if you know what song Motionless and White Voices sounds like, please let me know. It's been bothering me for like three months now. By the way, 30 Seconds to Mars is, I no longer listen to him because they went pop. What the heck? It's like top 10 anime betrayals is 30 Seconds to Mars turning pop. Whoop. All right, back to Erase the Pain. Na, 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 na. Oh my God, it's gonna bother me. What does it sound like? I'm not really feeling it. It sounded so good when it started. Oh, I got it. It sounds like Maroon 5. Hold on. Right? Right? Am I losing my mind? Probably. Listen, listen. No, it's just me. I'm losing my mind. Anyways, I'll give this song 2 out of 5. Again, I don't dislike it. I don't like it. Demon Hunter. I expect them to be heavy ass freak. Demon Hunter anime <gasps> what yes 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 Wait a minute, I need my headphones for this. That made a lot of changes in one little segment. Yes, yes, we finally found it. Bam. Demon Hunter, you got it. I am on your side. This is gonna get a four out of five. That was very nice. I am adding it to my watch later. I will get this song later. And I gotta get through these quicker because I'm running out of space everywhere and we're barely on number 11. I prevail breaking down. I've heard of this man before. I have never heard listen to them i didn't like it at the beginning okay i liked it more the chorus and it's going to be an acquired taste it's going to be those songs that you need to listen to more than once to either love it or hate it but i'm going to give it a two out of five for now i try you the time is now This is already sounding like 30 Seconds to Mars right now. It sounds just like 30 Seconds to Mars. This turned from rock review to rock compare. What song does that sound like? 
It sounds like Jared. Starting line, never ending race. What a cancer. Blood lust and a holy war. That's not so much. Look, I was once an echelon. I still stand by it, okay? Even though I don't listen to Mars anymore because they broke my heart. Uh, two out of five. It's all right. Not a huge fan though. The Amidity Affliction. Drag the Lake. Ooh. Is this a music video? It is not. It's a black heart balloon. I like it. <laughs> Sounds like a very high school type of band. You know, like when Warp Tour. Again, another song that I feel like I need to listen to more. So I'll give it a 2 out of 5. Breaking Benjamin. My voice! I have it in my library. Why even? So good. <laughs> Music videos that they've done for these new songs are so sad. <laughs> out of five next is shine down monsters i have a lot of shine down songs in my library oh it sounds like thrice uh honey that song gives me the chills that's there's that raspy voice we all love and know is this a sad song i don't like sad songs the only sad song I do like, <laughs> I keep interrupting myself. Sad song I do like, but it makes me cry every single time. Always by Kill Switch and Gage. That song makes me cry so hard. <laughs> I like it. It's very Shine Downy. But Shine Down is those type of bands that you listen to a little bit of the song and you're like, that's Shine Down. I want to give it three out of five. I may be a little biased because it is Shine Down, but. It's not bad. Ice Nine Kills a Grave Mistake. Ooh, I love the play on words already. <gasps> it looks like a, it looks like a horror film. This is a sad song. I see the potential. Is it my kind of music? Not really. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a two out of five. It sounds very nice, very heartfelt. Mark Morton and, ah, oh no. I haven't listened to Linkin Park ever since what happened. I cannot listen to music when the artist has passed. Honestly cannot listen to their music anymore. So this is gonna be a little difficult. I already like the beginning. I really like that little guitar right there. Very nice. I really like it. I really enjoyed it. But again, I can't fully enjoy it. I, I, I don't know. It, like something in my head blocks it out. I will give it a three out of five. We've made it, boys. My absolute favorite song of the moment. Light the torch, the safety of disbelief. I absolutely love their lyric video because the band is performing in the background. That's genius. Every band should do that. They should do a lyric video with the band performing in the background. I would absolutely love it. Turn me on that you want to make. Oh my god, so good. I did do my research. I googled and yes, he used to be a vocalist for Kill Switch and Gage. Good. Oh, I should have whooped out my drumstick. Hold on. I have one drumstick from Apocalyptica. This is Miko's drumstick. He gave it to me after the concert. <laughs> okay, I, I absolutely love this song. Moving on to, it should be number one, okay? Nothing more. Would you look at that? Nothing more. Let him burn. What's going on, Johnny? <laughs> Sounding not poppy, but sounding like a little jazzy. I 
I didn't really like it. For instance, Ocean Floor. Oh my God, Ocean Floor. Into this is the time. If you listen to those songs, how they flow into one to another, one of the best. What's it called? One song into another that I've ever heard in my life, other than Ten Years, my boys. Listen. One of the best. Ow. The other one I absolutely love is, look at my 10 years, look. At the end of Picture Perfect, going into all your lives. The wounds of your demise. <laughs> so good. Ow, my leg. He who lies to laugh, perhaps is in this world. That to me is one of the best flows ever. Picture Perfect into all your lives. <sighs> nothing More made me just talk about one song flowing into another song and I'm off topic. Okay. Oh, Nothing More. It gets a 2 out of 5. Bad Wolves Remember When. Is not Bad Wolves a cover band? <laughs> I'm kidding. Zombie. <laughs> it was 1992. That was the year Twy was born. I need headphones for this one. It's getting serious. It's number one. He was number one. Now it's 2002. I am officially 10 years. I think it's okay. I get it. It's, it, it's a good song. So I want to give it a two out of five. Did I? I didn't freaking rate like the torch, did I? Nine out of five because I gave Breaking Benjamin 10 out of five. So fam, I've reviewed every song off of here. I didn't find any treasures other than Demon Hunter. Do y'all have any new rock music you know of? Let me know down below. This concludes rock review. <gasps> well, that doesn't work. Congratulations, Bad Wolves, on being number one. I appreciate y'all watching, especially if you don't even listen to rock or metal music and you stayed here. That means a lot. And as always, <laughs>